And now for today's Bible question. Today we have seen how Jesus' miracles made him very popular and brought the forces of good and evil into battle. The devil is never happy when God is doing his work. Someone might ask the question, should we try to go into battle against Satan? In churches today there are many Christians trying to bind Satan, rebuke Satan, or cast Satan out as though they had some power over Satan. We must remember to keep things in proper perspective, for Satan is much stronger than any individual, but he is no match for the Holy Spirit. If we want victory over Satan, we must be utterly and completely surrendered to the control of the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit is in charge, then he is quite able to protect us from the attacks of Satan. You will not find any place in the scriptures where we are told to go into battle against Satan. We are certainly to wear the whole armor of God, as it says in Ephesians 6, and this is for defense, not for attack. Paul mentions that we wrestle against spiritual powers, but our position is not one of attacking, but arming ourselves against his attacks. The scripture makes it plain that Satan is on the prowl like a lion, seeking whom he can destroy, 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8. While Satan is looking for opportunity to attack those who are weak, our responsibility is to arm ourselves with the word of God and the shield of faith. The word of God is our best defense against the attacks of Satan and that which our Lord used when he was tempted by Satan. The Bible tells us that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. This means that the Holy Spirit is greater in strength than Satan, and therefore we do not need to fear that Satan will somehow destroy us. Remember the illustration that Jesus gave in John 10 about Satan, who is like a wolf coming to attack the sheep. The sheep are no match for the wolf, and, if left to their own defense, would be devoured by the wolf. Their protection is from the Good Shepherd, who saves them from the attacking wolf, and it is our Lord Jesus who protects his own from the attacks of Satan. Now we must be careful because Satan is rather clever and has all kinds of ways to trip us up and do us harm. He can never snatch us away from our Lord if we are truly God's child, but he can make things rather miserable for us. He can soil our testimony by tempting us into sin. He can steal away our joy as he manages to get a foothold upon us and drag us down in despair and discouragement. He can cast doubts into our mind or draw us into the lusts and allurements of this world. This is why the Bible warns us to resist the devil and he will flee from us. James chapter 4 verse 7. This is written in the context of being ensnared by friendship with the world, which means to make friends with those who do not love God. We must resist him by following the Lord faithfully and purifying our lives from all that displeases the Lord. Our fight against the devil is not to be a full frontal attack, for you and I are no match for the devil, but we can certainly protect ourselves from his attacks when we are fully equipped with the armor of God. When the Holy Spirit confirms to us an assurance of salvation, when we walk in righteousness, when we know the word of God, when our faith is solid, when we are ready to share the gospel with others, and when we walk in the truth, then we have put on the whole armor of God, which will shield us from all the attacks of Satan. Remember, the scripture shows us a defensive posture for the believer when it comes to encountering Satan. The Lord simply wants us to stand our ground in full armor. Though our enemy is much stronger than we, he can do us no harm when we are protected by our God. Think of young David going out to battle against the giant Goliath. David had no chance to defeat the giant in his own strength, and no human armor would protect him. 
but only hinder him. It was only by the power of his God, by his faith in God, and by a life that pleased God that he was given the victory over his strong enemy. If you think you are much stronger than Satan, then listen to this warning from Jude. Yet Michael the archangel, in contending with the devil, when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. Jude verse 9.